bird photography. You'd imagine it to be peaceful and serene. Well, you're wrong. You gotta be freaking hardcore to do this stuff. For one thing, we depend on the natural light of the sun, which results in a lot of... Hurry! We gotta get there when the sunlight is perfect! And since birds can fly... <gasps> a golden eagle! This happens a lot. I swear, minus stealing other people's cars, bird photographers are total GTA pros. Second, this probably doesn't apply to most bird photographers, but my most frequent destination is the DMZ. Oh, you know, that place between the two Koreas that has minefields and barbed wire and the occasional rogue North Korean soldier. One time, we were setting up the camera when a North Korean soldier tumbled out of the underbrush and demanded that we come with him for interrogation. I acted fast by grabbing the tripod and swinging it at his head and screamed to the others to- I'm just kidding! <laughs> that never happened. <laughs> you should see your faces! <laughs> but there are lots of minefields, which is why we are never to wander off the beaten trail. It's Minesweeper in real life. Literally. Despite all of these dangers, the DMZ is my favorite place to go for wildlife observation. All that biodiversity, man! I team up with a group of scientists at the DMZ Ecology Research Institute, and together we go where most soldiers don't even go. We were actually in the DMZ when Kim Jong-un came over for the summit. Maybe someday I can take him to go shooting with us. Like, with uh, cameras, not guns or nukes. Thank you.